Anxiety sucks, but it doesn't have to control your work life. In this video, we'll be talking about how you can curb your anxiety using food, movement, and planning ahead. 62% of the population have reported experiencing some kind of anxiety throughout their day. In fact, the greatest growth in this rate has been over the past year from 2020 to 2021 and specifically in the age category of 18 to 29. So this is particularly relevant for the youngest kind of cohort of colleagues and employees to learn how to deal with that anxiety, manage it so that they aren't reduced to working less productively uh, than if they weren't able to, to manage it. Starting with food. We know that food is your fuel that fuels your body and your mind, and it has a lot of impact on how you feel throughout the day. First tip is to avoid sugar and sweets. It has been found study after study of the correlation between sugar specifically and effects on mood disorders, irritability, and depression. So when in doubt, skip the sweets. Meanwhile, water, on the other hand, is a liquid that's necessary for all of our body just to perform at its best because we're made up so much of water, we need it for all of our cells to function at their best level. Caffeine, so coffee and black tea, is a stimulant. If you are prone to anxiety and are feeling anxious throughout the day, consider limiting the caffeinated drinks that you're having. Also, uh, caffeinated beverages like pop, uh, Coke, Pepsi, all of these contain caffeine. So if you're prone to these anxious feelings, then try reducing the amount or even just omitting them and replacing them with maybe an herbal tea or a smoothie or something like that, or like the water that we mentioned before. And finally, make sure to start your day with protein. Be that eggs, yogurt, chia pudding, but filling up on protein not only keeps you full longer for the day, but it also has an effect of reducing blood sugar levels uh, and thus reducing the spikes and the ups and downs that you feel throughout the day. So ensuring that you have a good foundation of protein will help you feel more leveled out uh, throughout the day. Moving on to movement. It has been shown that physical activity has a direct correlation with your well-being and eventually your productivity. There are different kinds of movements that you can consider, especially when you're considering of, uh, reducing levels of anxiety. One is stretching. So by stretching, you're not only reducing the tension in your muscles and thus physically reducing the impact of being pent up, but it also, through that stretching, induces feelings of uh, creating deep breaths and thus also reducing uh, heart rates. Aerobic exercise also has a, a direct effect and it has been found that getting your heart rate up triggers feelings of anti-anxiety in the long term. Just getting up, getting away from your desk, go, going for a quick walk uh, can kind of uh, get that feeling of anxiety, wiggle it out. Quick break, I would love to ask you to subscribe to this channel. We come out with similar videos every two weeks, so click. Finally, let's talk about planning ahead. Now, very often anxiety comes from a sense of uh, uncertainty or a feeling of being out of control of what is going on. And through planning ahead, you can mitigate these feelings. One thing you can do is plan the night before. When you wake up, it reduces kind of that cognitive stress of having to think of what you have to be doing and what you should be doing. And you don't have to spend that beginning of the day thinking, okay, what do I have to do now? And speaking of having prioritized tasks set out, another is actually prioritized prioritizing. So rather than just chaotically addressing all of the tasks that have to be done, you can whittle them down and reduce them to the few tasks that will have the biggest effect. Figuring out what tasks are the ones that are causing you the most anxiety, cutting them down into smaller, actionable tasks, and then getting them done first thing is a great way to eat the frog, get it done, out of the way, so that you can move on to other things that are taking up less space in your mind. And then, of course, finally, part of that also involves staying organized. So it's been found that there can also be a correlation between visual clutter and mental clutter, which for some people can cause feelings of stress and lead to anxiety. And by keeping a clean workspace, knowing where things are, staying organized, you're able to eliminate that aspect of stress in your life. Now, that doesn't only have to be for your physical environment, but also having a system in place for your files, your screenshots, your digital documents, 
and just knowing where everything is will also be a significant step towards reducing that stress and uncertainty throughout your workday. These are some things that you can do today uh, and see how that improves your day-to-day -day life. If you have any other tips on reducing your everyday work anxiety, please comment them below. Uh, we would love to read them. See you next time.